Alrighty guys, welcome back. Earlier we were talking about uh, Cam Cam Newton um, <laughs> in a brawl at Atlanta vs. 7 football game, and now we're going to be talking about a husband who boarded a flight and departed without his wife because she insisted on getting Starbucks at the airport. <sighs> Listen, I love getting my coffee as much as the next person. Is your frapp your frappuccino or get on your Delta flight? That's the that's that's the. I I love a good iced chai latte from Starbucks. That's my favorite thing that I get, and I get that everywhere I go. I love an iced chai latte, but I you know, with this I wouldn't have gotten my latte. <laughs> keep on, so, keep on, testify. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll give you guys some background on this. So in a Reddit post, uh, a, the 47-year-old husband described the situation he uh, was in while trying to go see his 21-year-old daughter who was in college. Um, the husband had not seen his daughter for about three months. Uh, usually they visit her a couple times a semester, but it's been difficult because they live on the West Coast while his daughter goes to school on the East Coast. Um, the husband explained that he is a very type A person. He likes to have everything organized and he hates being late. Me too. Um, however, his wife, uh, his daughter's stepmother is the complete opposite. Uh oh, she step -mama. has she has what uh, he describes as a go with the flow attitude. Although he tries to work around her personality, he does not put put up with it when it comes to traveling. He explained that last year there was an incident when they were going to fly out to see his daughter, but as soon as they got to the airport and went through security, it was too late. The gate to their flight had already closed. It took me attempting to wake her up five times before she eventually got up at 7.40 a.m., then wanted to make coffee, shower, and eat a bowl of cereal, he wrote. His daughter was very disappointed that they lost two days with her, so the husband was very determined not to disappoint her again. <sighs> the tardy wife managed to make their first flight without a problem, but their connecting flight was another story. Once they got to their terminal, they had about 15 minutes before they boarded the plane for the last leg of their journey. The wife wanted a coffee, and luckily... There was a little market right next to their terminal. The husband even offered to go grab it for her, but she insisted on going to Starbucks, which wasn't closed to their gate. I told her we couldn't do that. We didn't have enough time, he wrote. Uh, however, she was determined and went without him. Fifteen minutes went by, and the wife was nowhere to be found. As the flight was boarding, he called her four times to ask where she was. On the last call, she picked up the phone, stating that she was on her way to the terminal. She explained that the Starbucks line was so long that it took a while for her to order. The husband explained to the gate attendant that his wife was coming, but she warned him that he couldn't... They that couldn't hold up the flight. So he boarded the plane without her and left his wife behind. A few minutes later, his wife called saying that they wouldn't let her through the gate because the plane had already left and that he needed to get off the plane so that he could be with her, but he refused. I said, I told you we didn't have time, but you decided to go anyway, he argued. I told her to go purchase a new ticket for the next flight and I would see her when she arrived. <laughs> go with faith. I want you to go with this because there's there's two segments in this one. So I want to hear. I want to hear. I want to. I want to hear keeping the faith. Keeping the faith. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm on the husband's ooh, side. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait. Oh, okay. You didn't answer the first question. Is who's right? Who's wrong? All right. I'm go on ahead. the husband's side for this. Um, you know, managing a relationship with your daughter. Um, and obviously, uh, you're not single parent, but, you know, it's a split household. So, you know, dad's trying to do things for the daughter because that's important to him. But he's also married to someone else now. So it's hard to balance both of those relationships, you know. Um, but, you know, your kids should always come first. And so if you have planned to go visit your child and your wife wants to go with you to visit her as well, Wife needs to buckle up and get on board and do what she's supposed to do <laughs> in order to go visit your daughter. And, you know, 
I'm sorry, suck it up, buttercup. You wanted to go get Starbucks and you didn't make it on time for the flight. So, but dad's got to go. Dad promised his daughter he was going to go see her. So, and I'm also, I'm I'm just, I'm waiting. I'm I'm just letting, I'm letting, I'm I'm letting, I'm letting faith cook. (laughs) Let me cook. Let me cook. Uh, I'm also a type A person. I'm very organized. I hate to be late. I, you know, for sh- these shows in the morning, I'm on Zoom at 630. <laughs> Faith kills it, too. She does. I'm going to keep it real with you. For all you other, all these people out there like, oh, I can do face job. No, you can't. <laughs> I, <laughs> no, you can't. I'm always on time, which is normally early is on time and on time is late. That's how I was oh. raised. So that's want to hug mentality. you through the, through the camera right but, now. Of course, life happens and there are situations where you're going to be late. With that, I let people know the minute I know I'm going to be late. Hey, I know we said we were going to meet at 6, but I don't think I can get there until 7 o'clock. That text message gets sent at like 3 or 4 p.m. when I find out that I'm going to be late. So, I would have <laughs> left her too. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Can I'm going to ruin I'm, my plans. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My first thing, when I first heard this, I took your approach. I mm-hmm. agreed with everything you said and then more. Mm-hmm. I would have, uh, matter of fact, I might have been waiting at the gate right till you got to the gate. I would have closed it, closed the <laughs> thing up on her, hit her with the deuces and then ran. Deuces. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> I thought about this. Mm. First thing is when they landed, he should have got on the phone and got a lawyer because they need to get a divorce. They don't need to be together. And here's the reason why. When you get to the point where you're like, the heck with that fool, I'm getting on the plane anyway. That's your own, that's your own fault and leave that person you are at that point of no return so it's just a it's just a matter of time before divorce court comes down the pike on you so just jump ahead of it get divorced that's the first thing second thing is this is a prime example you know sometimes it's like you can be right and i can be right well guess what he can be wrong and she can be wrong. Mm-hmm. And two wrongs don't make a right. <laughs> they don't need to be together. Here's the here's here's the wrong. You knew he how important it was for him to see his daughter. Right. You knew how what his personality was. You knew that you were running late and your butt wanted going to get Starbucks, but Starbucks was so important to you that you didn't care about what his needs are. Yeah. Okay. That's her wrong. I'm going to tell you his wrong. No matter what. It's like, a matter of fact, ooh, not that long ago, similar situation almost went down with my wife and I. Mm-hmm. We were in Munich. I think it was in Germany. We were in Germany. And she she went off to go get something like coffee or something like that and she was taking her time and she she didn't hear that it was boarding our flight so Mm -hmm. we're waiting and i'm waiting and i'm like where the heck is she and they're looking at me like sir you getting on and i'm like man wait hold on hang on hang on hang on and there was no way whether she left to go get starbucks or whatever Am I going to leave my wife at an airport and just jump on a flight and just leave her by herself? That makes you wonder how strong that relationship is. Yeah. That's the reason why they both, even though she was maybe wrong to go do that, the fact that your mindset was, I'm getting on the plane. And then she calls and she's like, hey, I'm at the gate, but they won't let me in. And you're like, Today I'm bad. And she's like, well, are you going to get off the flight? No, sucker, I'm out. Yeah. That shows divorce court. 
I think their actions, uh, both of their actions, are a reflection of how they feel about one another in the relationship. And here's something that people don't understand. You can be two good people, but get a divorce. Yeah. And you can both be good people, but just don't line up. You're you're Mr. Regiment guy. Yeah. Got to be on time. Got to be this. Got to be this. Got to be this. 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 And she's Miss Laid Back, La Vida Loca lady. <laughs> <laughs> so that is that's that's two things doing this all the time. It doesn't mean that either that both of them are that one has to be a bad guy, one has to be a bad girl. It just means they don't belong together. And when you start looking at this, didn't mean to go on to my my marriage and dating advice uh, <laughs> saga here. But when you look when you look at this, and the fact that she's at the gate, and he's like, first off, I'm getting on the plane. I can understand. He's like, okay, she'll catch up with her with me on the flight. But yeah. then when she calls and they says they're not letting me on, and you're like, get you a ticket, fool. <laughs> you know, what? yeah. Now, listen, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna go to the thing and say, "Listen, my wife is right at the gate. Can you please let her on? Can you please let her on?" And then if they're like, "No," then it's like, "I need to get off and go be with my wife because I need to make sure she's okay." And if that if that is not in your mind, hey, I may, I may be, po'd like nobody's business. But I'm taking my butt off that flight, mm -hmm. and it's and and yes, I know a lot of people are gonna be like his daughter. He hasn't seen his daughter in three months. It's three months, people. It's not three years. It's it's you you know what I mean. So yes, it's disappointing that she's holding you up, and you have the right to be pissed off. Yeah, but when you take that approach you are already at the, you made a left at the heck with her and a right at, y'all don't need to be together anymore. <laughs> they don't need to be together. They, you know, this, this is that point where you're like, I'm sick of her. I'm sick of her crap or I'm sick of his crap. They're not thinking about each other. Mm -hmm. Both of these moves were selfish moves. I want Starbucks. I'm gonna be late. I know how this, how important this is. She, that's selfish. That's absolutely selfish. I'm getting on this plane. I don't care. Get you another ticket. You're on your own. Mm -hmm. That's a couple that shouldn't be together. Yeah. Do you see my side of this one? No, I, I definitely uh, understand your perspective on that, and I do agree. A little bit, yes. Um, but I am I'm still for him <laughs> leaving her. <laughs> now, now I gotta admit his pimp hand is strong. <laughs> <laughs> he just went with the hey, I'm over here, I've got my ticket, I'm sitting I'm sitting down comfortable. You know <laughs> the fact that he got on the see, the fact that he was on the plane and she called and you're like, You better go call Delta. You got the visa card, don't you? Because you tough, know. sweet honey iced tea. <laughs> yes, that is. I mean, that. See, I can't say it the way I really want to say it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I I got some regulations that I gotta follow. Yeah. But yeah, these two <laughs> shouldn't be together. And you, you, the guy. She took too many liberties, and the guy is fed up with her liber her taking liberties. Mm -hmm. They're they're done. Yeah, they're 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 done. They may not even know it. For him, it's like, listen, I just wanted to get to my daughter, and I'm just going to see my daughter. She could get on the flight. Mm -hmm. But those are things you just can't come back from. I think about. Uh, now I won't go there, but yeah, I mean, it's just, there's certain things you can't come back from. Mm -hmm. There are certain things 
there's certain signs I bet you when they look back, they may be a year, two years, three years, five years, 10 years from divorce, but divorce is in their future. <laughs> All, right. All right, Dr. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> divorce is in their future. Do you see that? Do you see her? Okay. Do you see her changing her personality so that she can be Clearly more regimented like him? Absolutely no, not. She's already made them late for a flight before and they missed that flight. So, right. And if he's leaving her at the gate and getting on the plane, he's fed he's, up already. He's, he's fed not up with her. Change either. So, right. So they're at that point where they're, you know, if you're at the point where you're going to leave someone in an airport, how would you feel? You and your your boyfriend are on a trip, and you're like going to get a Starbucks, and, and he, left me. Oh. he left you. I'd be fuming. I'd be fuming. <laughs> right. And I'm not justifying her action, but the mindset of a guy to be like, the hell with her. I'm getting on the flight. She should have thought about there's consequences and repercussions for your to actions. your actions. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but you cannot. That's the person you're supposed to love and cherish and want to spend the rest of your life with. Mm hmm. Uh -uh. I'm not <laughs> my my wife can make me upset. I'm not leaving her at an airport. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh there there's there's something wrong with that divorce court. That's all I'm saying. Divorce court. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, I feel like we need to update on their life now. Oh, I happens. can tell you. That's that's a 50 50 split. <laughs> you know, you know uh. he's they, he, she got the cat. He got the dog. She got the fine china. He gets to keep the car, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. But it's over. They just don't know it yet. <laughs> oh gosh! All right, guys. Well, with that, we're gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, we're gonna dive into our oddities of the day. <laughs> 